Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Hot Wheels Unleashed. Today, I want to build a track in the custom track editor that is essentially an upside down drift race, which I think is going to be a challenge to do and also a challenge to race, but it should be really, really fun. But before I get into that, I actually want to do a couple of the campaign things so we can maybe unlock a new car. And if we don't unlock a new car, maybe we can at least upgrade the car that I've been using. Um, and by the way, I just noticed that apparently you can dismantle cars or sell cars for either gears or coin, which you can then use to upgrade or buy new cars. So I guess maybe there's a potential to get duplicates that you can then sell and then you put that towards other cars as well. All right, so there's two directions that I can go here. I can go up in this direction, which unlocks a whole bunch of other paths, or I can go over in this direction, which also kind of goes up here anyway. But um, this is going to get me some gears. However, this also unlocks this secret thing. And I don't really know what this means. So I kind of want to figure out what that means. So let's go with this race right here. All right, here we are. It looks like we are in our basement once again. All right, let's just start the race. Hopefully I can do it first try. The difficulty is on medium. I tried a little bit of hard last time and I uh, kind of regretted it. So we're just sticking with medium for now as I get used to the controls again. Oh, we got full boost. Full boost on that one. How do I boost? There we go. Oh, my God. I went underneath the car and lifted it up. That was amazing. All right, off to a good start. Much better start than I was off to in the first episode, which makes sense. Is that a trash truck? Am I racing a trash truck right now? What are his stats? He must be slow. Probably has a lot of boost, though. All right, I'm getting the hang of the drift. Looks like we got a jump here. This is cool, jumping over parts of the previous parts of the course. All right, that was an absolutely terrible drift. How many laps? Three laps on this one. I gotta remember to use boost more often. I tend to be very conservative with things that I run out of in games, but um, it really gives you a lot of opportunity in this game to recharge your boost. All right, it's all about the drifting though. Look at that, that's an amazing drift right there. That was a great drift actually. Oh, a little bit too early on that one. I ruined that completely. Don't worry, we can boost our way out of it. Oh, no! That may have just cost me the race. Well, I'm in fourth place right now. I still have another lap to go, so I might be able to recover this. Got a little bit too... Uh... Oh, no! I almost did it again! Boosting before the jumps is a bad idea. Oh, come on. All right, go, 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 go. I'm in third place right now. This is the last lap. All right, I really got to catch up on this one. Oh, those are some good drifts. Oh, almost did it again. All right, I'm in first again. Whoo, that was a good catch up. Go, 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 go. Oh boy, wow, that was an awesome last lap. That was so fun. <laughs> okay, so that was good first try. All right, so we've unlocked a time trial. Oh, what do we get? All right, 60 gears, a new track. So we've unlocked this time trial where we have to be a certain amount of times where we get coins and You've stumbled upon your first secret, yet another trap laid by the evil bosses. They say that each secret comes with a clue, which will help you figure out how to unlock it. Be careful, though, as some secrets can only be unlocked by progressing through Hot Wheels City Rumble. I don't know what that means. What does this mean? Okay, secret, conditions, reckless driving with special appearance by Bone Shaker. All right, so it looks like this is the hint for the secret, but because I'm so new at the game, I don't know what it means yet. So I'm assuming reckless driving means something and Bone Shaker might be a type of car that I need to complete it with. So let's try out my first time trial. Time to beat, let's go over 44 seconds. Here we go. All right, so nobody else with me on the course, just me and my car. Can I do this on the first try without knowing what the course is like at all? Is this a lap thing or I don't know. All right, here we go. Oh, I only got two boosts that time, not the, not the full three. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know how sharp the turns are gonna be. 44 seconds, huh? 
Ah, uh, I didn't feel good about that drift. I feel like I slowed down way too much on that one. All right, I'll do a couple of boosts here. Oh boy. Oh, those are some rough spots for those things. Oh, big drift. 42, 43, no! Oh man, I was just a second past the limit. All right, you know what? I have to do it. I was close enough. I know how the course goes now, kind of. All right, this is it. This is it. I can do it this time. Believe in yourself, scrap man. There we go. I'm feeling good about this so far. I'm feeling really good about this one so far. Don't, yeah, don't mess up with those barriers this time. I'm in concentration mode right now. Come on, 42, 43. Ooh, half a second away, but I did it. We got the, um, I don't know, the best time, the best time I needed for the unleashed goal. All right, let's continue on. All right, time trial completed. I've obtained 40 gold, a new basement customization as well. And I have access to this course, which would get me 60 gears, which is a quick race, or this course, which is also a quick wait race, which also gives me 60 gears. But where can we go from here? See, my question is, what is reckless driving? Is reckless, oh, oh, I could just get a box right here, what? Okay, I'm definitely going in that direction then. Oh, here's a boss race over here. Oh, oh, here we go. Look at this. So this is called reckless driving. So I think I have to complete this course with Bone Shaker in order to unlock this secret. So that's actually, that's really, that's a difficult thing to do. And in order to even get to this race, I have to go through this secret. The legend says that a restless ghost blocks access to this path. Hmm. All right, well, anyway, let's uh, let's get this blind box, all right? Let's just work our way up there, and then we'll do uh, some track building. All right, another race with other cars. Just got to get first place. That's all I got to do. Oh, no, I forgot. Oh, I totally forgot to wait for the countdown or to watch for the countdown to get my boost at the beginning. All right, well, it's okay. I only need the last lap to catch up anyway, so... Not like it's gonna be an issue, right? Ooh, we got some magnetic courses on this one. It's a magnetic track. All right, here we go. This is where I take the lead. Oh, there's a split. I did, did not know what was happening there. <laughs> okay, then. I wonder which course is better to be on. These are two like totally different courses. What? Oh, and here's where they merge. Okay. Wow, I did not expect that. You can have two different tracks on the same track. Am I upside down right now? Why am I on this co Why am I on a magnetized course? Is this upside down or something? No. Yes, I am upside down. Okay. This is disorienting. It's hard to even tell when you're upside down. All right. I'm at a comfortable spot in the lead now. As long as I don't mess up. And there's no jumps in this. Jumps are like a prime spot to mess up. If you don't line yourself up with the course. Oh, so that there's where we went upside down. I'm going to go the right path this time. Whoa, there's tons of boosts. There's the, the right path is so fast. No wonder why it's the right path. The other one's the wrong path. Oh, but it has a terrible ending. Whoa, okay. We're upside down again, I think. You know, the concept of drifting on a magnetic track is a little odd to me. <laughs> it feels like it shouldn't be possible, but hey, that's going to be the whole premise of uh, the track I build after this anyway. All right, final lap. I feel like I'm way out in the lead. I don't have any uh, time comparison, though, to second place. Yeah, I feel like this is an easy win here. 
Are we almost there? There we are. All right, that was probably the easiest race I've done so far. It's probably mostly because I'm, I'm, I'm the most comfortable with my controls now. Gravity Workshop Track. All right, we're gonna, we have one more race and then we get the blind box, I think. So this is a time trial. I gotta beat 53 seconds. All right, shouldn't take long. Should take about 53 seconds. To, no, 52 and a half seconds. I'll probably do it in. All right, this I'm, I'm ready for the boost. I'm ready to get the starting boost. Oh, I only got two. I did it too early that time. All right, what's this course gonna be like? I have no idea. Not a lot of drifting need- okay, now that I say that, there's some drifting. Man, this course seems pretty straightforward so far. I'm just trying to figure out where to use my boosts. Not there, apparently. Because you get boosts by drifting, but this isn't- this course doesn't lend for a lot of drifting. I feel like getting that starting boost, getting a really good starter boost is uh, kind of key. What did I need to do? Did I do it? Was it, it was 53 seconds, right? I think I did it in 51. That was an easy one. I didn't like that course. That course was kind of boring, but we did it. If that's what it takes to unlock the blind box, then I'm all for it. All right, got a basement customization, some more coins. Now, how does this work? Exploration always pays off, buddy. <laughs> It seems like passive aggressive for some reason. There are plenty of rewards like this one in the city streets. Find them all. So I, I just get it. Is that it? Do I just select and I get it? I don't have to do anything for this. All right. It looks like I've obtained it. Wait, wait. I've obtained a blind box and a car and a profile customization. I just get a free car and another box that has a random car. All right, let's get back to the menu and let's see if that's how that works. All right, go to collection. Oh, look at that. Whoa, this car. This car is better stats than this one, doesn't it? Oh, okay. It has the same speed and acceleration, but it has less handling and a lot more braking power. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'll have to try it because I don't know what braking power feels like since this is the only car I've been driving. But you know what? We also have a blind box anyway. So let's open that and see if we get an even uh, better car potentially. All right, here we go. Give me something good. Woo, woo. Ooh, we did it! We got something better! This is really good! All right, I, I need to go customize that car right now. All right, so here's the stats on this one versus this. So this is, it has better acceleration, better handling, better braking power, and the same speed as the car that I've been using. So, yep, this is my new car. All right, so we're gonna give this one a uh, bright red. We're gonna go brighter red than the last one. All right, we're gonna go with black rims with black tires and then of course, super tint. There we go, this is my car right here. All right, there it is. It's actually like a realistic looking car as opposed to this uh, spaceship. <laughs> so before I get to the track editor, I kinda have to race with this thing at least once, right? So let's try out this car and see how it feels. All right, we're in the skate park. We just gotta get first place but it should be fine. We get the speed, we got increased handling and increased acceleration and increased braking power, whatever, whatever that means. I'm ready for the boost. I'm ready for the boost. Oh, I got four boosts as well. This has more boosts. Oh, I only got two. It's fine. It's fine. Out of the way, please. Out of the way. Okay, I'm coming through. We got a new car here. All right, okay. Off to a bad start. Okay, I just gotta get used to the new handling. That one point of handling is really making a difference here. It's not, I'm just messing up. I'm just, joking. whoa, what is this? This is interesting. Where are we? This is so weird. I like it though. Oh no, oh no. All right, don't worry, I'll catch up. Just getting used to the new car is all. Oh, oh, hey, hey, okay. <laughs> That's my old car in front of me. Come on. This is actually... I mean, it's only the first lap. I got plenty of time to catch up, but still. I was used to being in first the la that last time.
Is Dino thinks he's gonna catch up with me? I don't think so. All right, I do like having more boost to save up though. I tend to save more than I than I mean to. Excuse me, I'm just gonna take you, take you on the inside on this turn right here. I got it, thank you. <laughs> I just knocked him right out of the way. And that guy's fast though. Whoa. I wonder what the best stock car is, like before upgrades. Oh man, that's a rough turn. All right, here we go, it's another rough turn. Man, I'm just going too fast. My car is so fast, I can't, uh, I can't make the turns. Because on account of how fast I am. <laughs> Seems like a weird way to complain. Just bragging, humble brag. Oh no! Go, 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 boost, 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 oh. All right, I maintained first place. No! <laughs> this car, man. That's the one I unlocked too, it has good speed. What are you doing to me? Oh no, you too! It's like I'm coming back from the grave to haunt myself. Oh, I went way too wide on that turn. Let's not make the same mistake here. I've been making some poor boost decisions. All right, come on. There we go. That time I did the turn right. All right, let's try this one right now. Did not do that one right, that's for sure. But don't worry, I got a decent enough lead. This is the last lap too. All right, this one has checkpoints. This is one of the first races I've actually seen checkpoints on that I remember. All right, is this it? Final lap right here. All right, first place, not bad. So this car definitely feels, it, it feels more difficult to control, which is weird because it has better braking and handling. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe it's just a higher skill level car. All right, we got 60 gears. We got Freestyle Paradise Track. All right, so now it is time. We've d we've accomplished what we wanted to in the main thing. Now let's head to the track builder and I'm gonna build myself an upside down drift course. And what better place to drift upside down than um, a, a college campus? There's no reasoning behind that. I'm just saying it. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this map. This map isn't just an open room. There are all kinds of rooms around here. You can go through, what is it? This is a science classroom. What else do we got? It looks like this is the library. Look at this. Can I go through this wall? Nope. Oh, I can go through these walls. Okay, all right, I see where the boundaries are now. And we've got an actual classroom. These, this is interesting. This had some interesting elements. All right, so it looks like there are three rooms. So we've got the classroom, we've got the science lab, and we've got the library. So this is gonna be really interesting to build a drift course in. All right, so I, I don't think I can make the start line upside down. So if we're gonna make this an upside down drift course, uh, that means I'm gonna have to start low and then ramp up and turn around. So we're definitely going straight to a magnetic uh, track. All right, so we're just starting off with, we're just going straight up and hopefully going right upside down. Like, oh boy, that's a lot bigger of a curve than I thought it was going to be. There we go. That feels a little bit more reasonable. <laughs> I wanna be able to make it through that doorway. Guys, I just realized that this track builder is a lot more intricate than I even thought it was. Um, I can change transformation modes and roll offsets. Like, look at this. So I see I can have it be rolling from the center. The rotation point of this roll is in the center of the track, or I can change it so that it's on the edges of the track, like that, whatever way I decide to roll it. Like, or I can have it automatically decide, like it is, there's a lot of stuff. And then this transformation, I can change it from smooth to linear, to easy in and easy out. I don't even know what this stuff means yet. Let's just start building this drift course. Let's see how this goes. We go through here and then this is gonna be a very sharp turn. Oh, we could go like all the way. Oh yes, we're doing a figure eight. Well, not, we're more like a weave. We're gonna do a weave through these bookshelves. That might be a little bit too much. Because if we're going upside down and you end up uh, lifting off of the course through like what would be a normal jump, 
you will not go back onto the course. You're just gonna you're just gonna fall off the course, and that'll be the end of that. So we need to gently, gently curve our way under here. All right, I think that should be gentle enough. Do a, I'm gonna do a quick test and just see how long this feels. Okay, so the exact thing that I was worried about uh, happened. The curve is too much, so you end up actually falling off the course. So my biggest criticism so far with this track builder right now, which I don't know if it's just because it doesn't exist or I haven't figured it out yet, but um, it seems like you can't go back and edit an already placed part of the track. You have to actually work your way back. You have to delete your way back there to make changes. Anything that you've built in the middle is set. At least that's what it seems like to me right now. Okay, so I'm doing something kind of fancy here, and this is where the transformation settings, you can actually see the difference that they're making. So this is smooth transformation. This is linear. This is easy in, and this is easy out. So it definitely changes the game here. And this is gonna be an interesting section if it's even like possible. I think easy out is what I want though but is it going to let me build off of that? It's not, why not? Hmm, hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, 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 there we go. There it is right there. It's letting me build it like that. All right, now let's just test that part and make sure that uh, it's doable. Whoa, okay, oh, wow. That's a fun section. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're getting into the science room and this is where the drifting will resume. Let's see, I'm gonna go right by the microscope upside down like this. And then we're gonna drift right over to the other. This is gonna be a drifty section here. All right, so now it's time to work my way back and close off this circuit. But wait, you know what? Before we close it off, let's just throw a loop in here. We're gonna throw a magnetized loop. Ooh. What if I did a regular loop? This is interesting because with a regular loop, you're not magnetized to it, but it's gonna be a, a loop that starts upside down. Yeah, I like this idea. So you have to have enough speed going upside down to get back to the upside down portion of this loop. All right, and then we go back to a magnetic track and there we go, I did it. <gasps> I did it. All right, so now I got to make some modifications to this track to make it a little bit more drivable. So for instance, on big curves like that, I can go into customization and then I can add a, um, a series of arrows that are going to indicate that you got to turn in that direction. So I'm going to do that to all the major turns. All right, and then the next thing is interactive objects. So things like accelerators and uh, boost pads and maybe like boost chargers and stuff. Oh, you can have magnetic strips. I didn't even realize that. So you can have a section of course where it's only magnetic on a certain part and you can fall off on the other part. That's for another course when I'm decided to get even more complicated. All right, I think I may have made things um, simple for myself here because it appears that mag upside down magnetic courses aren't completely compatible with uh, these items, these boost pads or any anything really. It is blocking my ability to place these things anywhere, which I'm a little bit disappointed about because there were some particular areas where I wanted there to be uh, some accelerators to, so that you could accelerate automatically into the next uh, into the next drift without needing to use boosts that would last too long. But it seems like everything is impacted by this limitation. So all right, I'm not gonna complain about it. That means I'm done. All right, let's validate this thing, which means I gotta use this. Wait, wait, what? why am I pressing shift here? I don't under, what? Oh, oh, you get a shift, you get a boost off of the uh, start line if you keep pressing the boost with this car. It's very different than the other car because this one has a boost meter, whereas the other car has um, like just dedicated boost nozzles or whatever. I don't know what to, what to call them boost orbs all right so yeah this is a really this is not a drift car at all so validating a drift course with a non-drift car feels a little bit underwhelming but don't worry we'll go back to the speedy car oh this is an interesting section because gravity is pulling me down to the right in that section so you're kind of drifting against gravity in a way all right man i was really hoping to have some boost pads on these sections here but i don't know what the game doesn't like about my course Oh. All right, upside down in the science lab now. 
Yeah, I'm doing absolutely terrible on this. <laughs> this is just a really bad vehicle for this, which is why they make you complete it. Oh, <gasps> can I do the loop in this vehicle? I should have saved some of my boost. All right, boost. Woo, there we go. All right, how is this transition back to the start line gonna feel? Hey, not bad at all. All right, so course has been validated. Now we can try it with a real drift car. All right, here we go. We got a real drift car now. This is just kind of like a free test mode. There's no official time limit or anything, but uh, now I get to test it with some speed finally. Okay, not, not off to a great start so far. All right, let's get our speed back with a boost. All right, here we go. First real drift section. All right, oh, and get in. Oh, I couldn't, I didn't have enough speed to get into the next drift. Man, that part might be a little bit too extreme almost. Why am I not? Oh, do I get unlimited boost in test mode? I don't think I knew that. I do, I get unlimited boost. Oh, okay. That's good to know. That's awesome. Okay, here we go. Another drift, another big drift section. And then immediate, oh, I shouldn't have boosted there. I didn't get to use the drift at all. There we go. Oh, that was almost perfect. The boost really helped me get into that next section. All right, then into the loop. And then back on the straightaway to repeat the course. Oh wait, I, I can't use boost anymore? What? I thought I had unlimited boost for a second. This is weird, I don't know how this is working. All right, that's one lap down. These are some long laps. All right, let's see if I do better on this turn this time. Oh, almost. That was almost a really good one, actually. All right. Oh, that is such a big turn. And then right into the next turn. That's a hard drift section. I wonder how possible it is to like do it perfectly. Like I was trying to make a section where you could link together multiple drifts, you know? That feels so cool. I love that section. That section feels so cool for a drift because of the way it banks. All right, here we go. Another big drift here. And then getting, linking it into another one. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do that one. There we go. And then right, oh, this is a much sharper one. And then into another big one. Oh, that was so good. All right, and then back onto the loop. All right, this worked out great. Well, I'm not done with this lap yet. Yeah, I wanted to put a whole bunch of boost on that straightaway at the end there. But there we go. Successful upside down drift course. What do you guys think? Well, we did a whole lot in this video once again, and there's a whole lot more that we could do. If you guys are enjoying this game, let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited? Do you want to see more campaign mode? Do you want to see me work my way through that, unlocking those secrets, figuring them out? Or do you want to see more track builder? What do you guys like more? Or do you, do you like it how I, I do a little bit of both like this? A little bit of campaign and then end it off with building a track. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you have a preference, it'd be nice. I think it'd be kind of nice to do a dedicated just campaign video, getting as far as I can in the campaign for a little bit. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this, you might enjoy some other stuff that you can check out on the channel on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.